Good morning, this is Leon Hernandez. Today in this video we're going to show how uh, vermicompost is done in a trash can so we can treat our organic residues inside home. Here in Mexico City I live in a small apartment. I don't have any garden so I can do it in the open. And I, I'm going to teach how it is done. To make the compost we need a can like this one, this size is ok. We have to make small holes in the bottom so humidity can escape. A drill like this will help. We need um, about 3 eighths of, of the drill so, so we can make big holes. In this can I already have them make so I just I'm just making them bigger. Where is where, where is very important to make uh, a lot of holes is in the bottom, close to the base. So in here we have to make a lot of them and don't worry, worms won't escape. Now that we have all the holes in the bottom and some in the side and we, ca we, ca we can catch the liquids now with a glove or with a hand if you want but wash after you can see this compost is ready there is almost no residues it's full of these red worms Even though there is a little food, there is no bad odor. There's a worm. It's important to notice uh, there is. It's important that there is no a lot of garbage, uh, organic waste together, because if there is a lot of it it will get hot and it can kill the worms so we need to set a layer of 10 or 15 centimeters with our compost ah look this one uh, there is an eggshell it's important that Notice that even the compost is mature, is almost ready. Uh, there is the ex this eggshell almost intact, so we don't have to put eggshells, bones, because they are so hard that they are not going to decompose uh, within the same amount of time that the rest of the compost. Now that we have this layer we can put our organic matter make a nice layer there and so we cover with more compost so it doesn't smell Hello, uh, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Um, before finishing it, I would like to to give some advice about things I learned about failure or <clears throat> or some that I have in these two years of 
uh, making compost. The most important thing is you have to be to make big holes, like three eighths of of inch in the hole is is sufficient, I think. You have to make a lot of holes so all the moisture can escape the the can and won't suffocate or make a rot your compost. Don't don't put uh, <clears throat> eggshell or bones or hard stuff that is going to make um, impossible, well not impossible but it's going to take a lot of time to, to, rot, to rot, to decompose and all your compost will be ready and this small part won't so only soft stuff um, and you can't put in uh, meat or bread or of flour stuff because it will produce worms and not the kind of worms we want so flies will come and it's going it's going to be ugly uh, it's going it's going to stink also so if you want to avoid a bad odor these ones you have to bury or but don't put it in your indoor compost. Um, your compost has to be open. If you if you cover with with the lid of of a can, it's going to suffocate the the worm, the vermin. So leave it open, and you will avoid certain parasites that will kill your your worms. And it won't if you do it right it won't be a bad odor so you don't have to cover if you are in a in a country area please cover your compost with a net in the kind of nets that orange scum or or like shade or the shade net or something like that because if there is uh, flies by um, they will lay the eggs in the compost and the larva will kill them by competition all the the worms in your compost so take that precaution if you are in a country area <clears throat> um, I think that is all uh, if you have any idea commentary please write in the in the comments I always read them and answer them if you have a more private question about this and you want to explain something or or any question you can also write me a personal message on YouTube then I will give you my email and we can chat okay um, I hope this tutorial helps you and please comment uh, like uh, share on YouTube um, and well um, I hope the I hope everything is okay. Okay, cheers.